Welcome back, welcome back. Another day, and it is snowing out. It's not serious, but coming down at a good pace. I don't think I can grab all these up at the same time. I can't. So, we're slashing today. These white pine are just easy money. Easy, easy money. So that's all I'm doing today. Slashing. So every now and then one, one goes up a little too far, like that middle one there. Big daddy there. Okay. Get them straightened up. You like that. Eight footers. This one right here is going to cause havoc. So we'll send it over. Yeah. You little rascal. Maybe it'll go. When? Zipped right through her. But that's what it's about like. About like a grapple pull every time. Log truck's been here twice today. And uh, he, he's made a little, little bit of my pile over there in that corner. But mostly, today I've been filling it right back up. Because this stuff right here, oh, it's like butter. I mean, it's just, it's all delammed and sorted and just like that. And you can make a pile really fast. So therefore it's harder for the log truck to keep up, which is good and bad. It's good. Logs cut are good. Poor fella run. Ah, I hit that one out a little too far. This ain't the weather that you like to be running log trucking. But where are we left? you're all running self-loaders, so self-loaders, you're outside, and it's cold. But, here we are, just, it's all easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy here. We'll lay them right on where they're supposed to be, just like that. So that's about it. I mean, it's just one grapple pull after another grapple pull after another grapple pull. It's good stuff. And just put it right there. She let that one go nice and slow. She stacked up real nice every now and then. I get a little bit lucky. And then you just grab the whole thing. And there you go. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it there. Nothing special. And then, um, since I slashed yesterday and uh, I didn't, didn't uh, slash, there's a bunch of logs out there ready for me to go. So it's like uh, non stop log action, which is good because it keeps you busy and the day goes by fast. And like I said, since you're slashing gravy, it's actually pretty enjoyable. We don't need those two there. Grab them and set them over. These top ones here. Work from the top down. You'll be real happy if you work from the top down. All reasons why I do all that. So this log here, I'm only going to get one out of it. So I'm going to do something I normally don't do. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it because when you put that to the very edge like that, then you can grab one up out of there after you cut it once. That's the reasoning behind that. I 
edge. I want to put this big one all the way to the left so it clears my saw motor. The saw motor's in the back. You always want to clear it. And then you lay this one right here in the back too. And I'll switch that once I do the first cut because once I do the first cut, then I can throw this on the inside. Um, So now this one here didn't get the limb, which isn't a, which isn't a big deal, because it's all gnarly, we're going to chip it. So that's why I had that on the inside. Okay, I like that right there, we're going to line it up with that other tree, and away we go. That's why the inside's open. When you're, when you're cutting stuff like that much, the whole grapple falls, you got to think. A little bit about how the saw clears, fastest way to get that whole thing cut. I mean, we're just making piles. Well, I shouldn't have put that one in there. Why didn't you guys tell me that was rotten? I couldn't see it. There's a little gravy. Chipper, chipper guy, watch us. Hit him a little bit, and watch it. Watch, watch it, watch it. And he'll grab pull it up. It's got a whole rat spot up that whole side. I couldn't see, so now you go over here. And that big one right there. And I get to it. You don't want that rot in there. That, that's a lot of rot. That's what, that's what they can chip right here. Put that there. This one's not quite lined up for me. I wouldn't have had to move that if I knew, knew it seen that big one there was just completely rotten. Hey. I'll cut these poles all day long and be happy. See how that last one fell in there? I don't know if you guys can see that from where your angle is, but I was like magic. I mean, just like butter. You, just, you fill the cradle up, is all you do. Less moves, more grooves. Okay, the less moves you have, the better off you're going to be. So you're trying to fill this up all the time. I don't think I can grab all. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby boy. Look at there. There's a grapple full of logs. And we're going to dive it in right here, right in the hard spot. Found them in. There you go. Easy. I mean, that ain't nice. That's some good slashing there. That's some good slashing there. We'll clean up around my er area. Clean. We don't want dirt. We can't have this. And this is in the skitter's way. Get rid of that out there. And here comes another one. So, this is uh, all I do all day long. that tall but they're meaty those are real tall you can't lift that up oh, that one. not like that one 
like I, not like I had planned it right there. left one. Yep, there we go. We got her. And then we'll add a couple more in there. Get as many in there as you can. That's the idea. We'll keep them right on the far side. Until another truck gets here, I'll be busy slashing. You're gonna bring me logs the whole time. That was dropped just about six inches short. That's about three inches short. That's right on the money, honey. We built our pile back up when the log truck was here. He had me a nice little hole here. Look at that, I'll fill back in. Not a fun day for him to be out in the snow, but winter's coming. Who's honking their horn at me? Maybe somebody just honking their horn. you gotta do is get out. You don't want this garbage on here, okay? A lot of truck drivers don't like that crap on there. Let's get that stuff out of there.
poles are just ridiculous. We're just, I'm just not used to doing this. Not used to doing it at all. Oh, come on, John. Come on, John. John, why do you not put that butt plate up sometimes? Well, sometimes, that's weird. Um, it pushes the logs backwards, and then you get short logs. So if I don't push them back, they're all the right length. That's how I do that. That's why I don't bump that butt plate up. Because the existing logs in the cradle right there, those two logs, It'll push it back about three inches. If you're not careful, you can get in trouble. I've been in trouble. See what we're doing here? This is how you get these big piles. One little log. One little log at a time. And you just keep building it back up. And then you go just keep going as fast as you can. Try to keep ahead of the skitter guys. Anywho, thanks for watching. As always, just keep rolling.